Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Here, we'll get you up and running with the PACT programming language in your local environment. The goal of this tutorial is to get you started with the PACT environment and the PACT Atom SDK to run your first Hello World smart contract locally. Getting started with PACT on your system allows you to work in a powerful development environment to build and run your smart contracts with your own computer. This environment can be set up on Mac, Windows, and Linux operating systems. This tutorial will focus on the details of getting up and running on a Mac. More instructions on installing PACT with Windows or Linux can be found on the GitHub page. That said, this tutorial covers the following topics. First, you'll install Homebrew and the PACT programming language. Then, you'll install Atom along with the language PACT package that comes for Atom. Finally, you'll run your first smart contract on your local environment. So, let's start installing. To get started with PACT, you first need to install the PACT programming language. The easiest way to do this is by using Homebrew for Mac. If you have Homebrew, run the following line in your terminal. brew install kadana-io slash pact slash pact. After running this, PACT will be installed on your computer. As a quick aside, if you don't have Homebrew, you'll need to get that first. To find instructions for this, go to brew.sh. This is a popular package manager used to install many packages for Mac. If you're just getting started with it, I'm sure you'll also find it valuable in the future. To install Homebrew, copy the command provided on the home screen and run it in your terminal window. After a few moments, you'll have Homebrew installed on your computer. To verify your installation, type brew along with the version flag. This should return the current version of your installation. Now that you have Homebrew, you can use it to install the PACT language. As mentioned earlier, you'll do this with the following command. After it installs, you can verify the installation by going to your terminal and typing PACT. This should open up the PACT terminal environment. You can run any commands available in PACT from here. For example, adding 1 plus 2 will add these two numbers and return a value of 3. You can find this and other commands in the documentation, and you'll see many of these throughout the other tutorials. The terminal is helpful, but you'll often want to create larger programs from within your editor. The best way to write smart contracts locally is by using the Atom editor. PACT provides Atom integration, giving you syntax highlighting, continuous integration with a directory, dot REPL scripts, and errors and warnings linting. To install the Atom editor, go to atom.io and select Download. From there, follow the installation instructions to get up and running with Atom. Once you have Atom, you'll want to get the language packed package from Atom. To install this package, open Atom, go to Atom in the menu, and select Preferences. From within Preferences, select Packages and type language packed Once you do this, you should see the package appear. Click Install to install this package. At this point, Atom is set up to run the PACT programming language. You're all ready to create PACT applications from your local environment. So before wrapping up, try running your first Hello World smart contract. To do this, open your terminal and navigate into whichever folder you would like as a project directory. I'll use my desktop. Next, clone the PACT examples GitHub repository found here. Use git clone followed by the URL. This clones a directory with many PACT examples. For now, navigate to the Hello World example. Use cd packed examples slash hello world. From within this folder, open the packed terminal by typing packed. Using the packed terminal, run the hello world REPL file. To do this, type load followed by hello world.repl as a string surrounded in parentheses. This REPL file isn't something you've seen before. You'll learn more about it shortly. As a quick introduction, each of your smart contracts will consist of a .packed file and a .repl file. The .repl file loads the smart contract from the .packed file to run the code. This file contains the code behind the load into REPL feature that has so far been only available from the online editor. Basically, it's what allows you to run code locally. The contents of this .repl file are explained in more detail in the next tutorial. After running this file, you should see the following output to your terminal. Hello world. Receiving this message means that you've successfully run the code. Now that you've run the code, you might be wondering what it actually looks like. You can check the contents of this smart contract by opening it in Atom. 
exit the PAC terminal or open a new terminal. Press Ctrl-D to exit the PAC terminal, then enter Atom period to open the directory in Atom. Look through the code provided to better understand the contents of this smart contract. Notice that there's both the .pact and the .repl file that I mentioned earlier. The smart contract is slightly different than the Hello World smart contract you'd seen previously in the online editor. That's not because it has to be created different locally, it's just a different way to create this contract. As you'll see, it stores values in a table, then returns the value using some of the packed built-in functions you may have seen in other tutorials. Take some time to look through it to better understand the code for this smart contract. So that wraps up this tutorial. The goal was to get you up and running with Pact on your local device. In this tutorial, you got started with Pact locally. You installed the Pact language, Homebrew, Atom, and the language Pact package. You also ran your first Hello World Pact program on your local computer. As I mentioned, you can find more installation information for Mac, Linux, and Windows on our GitHub page. Take some time to review this if you got stuck on any part of the tutorial or would like to install on a different operating system. So now you've got a choice. You can either use the online editor or your local environment to develop packed programs.